Hi, my name is Shai Schmelzer. I'm part of the Oracle Visual Builder Cloud Service team. And in this demonstration, we're going to show you how to manage your application source code with Developer Cloud Service, providing you a full version management platform and multi-developer platform for your applications. Here we are in the console for Developer Cloud Service, and we are going to start by creating a new project. We're going to provide a name for the project, you can also provide a description. You can choose to have it a private or a shared project. And we're going to create an initial repository for Git and choose a type of wiki. When we click Finish, Developer Cloud Service goes off and creates the project for us. Inside Developer Cloud Service, you'll find inside the project uh, capabilities to manage a complete agile development process, version manage your code, build your code and even deploy your code capabilities as well as wiki and um, activity stream and other things that would help your team collaborate while you're developing your application. However in this demonstration we're going to focus on version managing your application code. So as you can see in about a minute you get a complete project provided for you including a git repository the URL for which you can find either on the right side or if you go over here to the git part you can find the URL. So let's copy this URL and again you can use this to check in and manage code for any type of application. We're going to show you how to manage this in a, an Oracle Visual Builder cloud service application. Okay, so we copied the URL for our Git repository, and now we'll switch over to Visual Builder Cloud Service. Over here you'll see our icon for Git integration, and what we're going to do first is configure connection to a DevCS instance. So over here you paste the URL you copied for your Git repository. Uh, you can remove your username from here. And also at the end, uh, there are some things that you don't need. Basically, you just need the name of the server and the name of the instance. Then you provide your cloud credentials for logging in into the developer cloud service instance. Click and we'll validate your credentials and make sure that you can connect. The next thing we're going to do is link to a specific repository. So we'll use the connection we just defined we'll see the list of projects and we'll pick up the projects we just created and the git repository in there and we can also pick up a branch so right now we're connecting to the master branch in our git repository once we're connected we can push our code application into the git repository we can provide a commit message press push this will commit our code into the master branch. This basically loads your application code from your instance into the central Git repository for your project. Okay? Which means that at this point after the code is in there, if you for some reason delete the copy of the application in your own VBCS instance, that's not a problem because the code is saved over inside a developer cloud service and you can pick it up and continue to develop with it. Okay, So now the code is up there in the cloud, we can switch over and look at the code from the developer cloud service interface. Okay, So back here we're going to go to the home page and you'll see our transaction showing up in our activity stream and if you go into the git repository it's now populated with the code for your application. Um, so at this point of time you have the code over here and you can actually manage the code and do git interactions like you would do for many other place and one of the things you can also do here is you can create branches of your code in the git repository. So let's say for example you have an issue that you are writing fixes for. You're going to create a branch of your code following a git flow methodology and then you can actually modify the code directly from inside developer cloud service if you want or actually from any other tool that can get the code from the git and modify it. Over here we're going to go into one of our pages, our main page of the application and we're just going to hit the edit button and modify the title here where it says celebrities to say celebs and then commit the changes into our branch. 
with a commit message. Okay, so we did some changes in developer cloud service. What we can do now in Visual Builder Cloud Service is we can pull those changes or we can even do um, something more drastic which is let's say we already deleted the application from our current instance that we're working on which is what we're doing here we can then use the import and import directly from git connecting to the same developer cloud service we mentioned before picking up the project picking up the git repository and then we can for example pick up the specific branch we want to get our application from okay so we'll give it a name and again this is just a name that is used locally for the application and we'll import the application from the git repository okay now the application is available for us in our own local environment you can go in open the page that we saw we modified before and if you look at the live view now you would see that the title has changed to celebs it's great and we can continue to modify the application enhance it directly from here and um, for example we can go over um, let's say to the style sheets of the application and uh, add some lines over here and um, for example let's uh, create a situation where our titles would show in a red color so both h1 and h2 titles we're going to set the color to be red by default okay let's look at our application now refresh the view can see the changes here okay and now we can again use normal git operation to push the changes into the branch that we're working on providing the commit message and pushing the code over anyone who would now pull the application from that git repository would get the latest version with our changes And as you can see, our changes are over here. And in fact, from inside developer cloud service, you can click on a specific uh, commit operation. Okay, here's our commit right now. Click on the commit operation and you will see the code changes over here. So we have full tracking for the changes we are doing to our application with developer cloud service.